Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Gold version. In this episode we're going to be taking on Morty. Yeah, that's his name, Morty. For the Fog Badge. He's the Ghost Type user, although those Ghost Types are half Poison type, so I'll be using a Ground Type. Type. Anyways. Good of you to have come. Here in Ecruteague, Pokemon have been re revered. It's said that a legendary Pokemon will appear to the truly powerful trainers. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a, a future in which I meet the legendary Pokemon. You're going to help me re reach that level. Alright. So, now we are fighting the Ghost-type user, Morty. Leader Morty wants to battle. The leader of Ecruteague City. Alright, Ghastly. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Level 21. Um, it's a poison type, so Dig should be able to take it out with relative ease. Oh, please don't paralyze. Okay, that's good. There we are. Yeah, the Quick Claw didn't really help me all that much there. But, oh well. At least we get to use it now, and hopefully, with all luck, that you take out that ghastly. Yeah, there we go. Super effective. All right, Schlappy gained some nice experience. And Haunter. Hopefully, I'll be able to sweep his team with Schlappy. Although, I do hope I kind of run into bumps, because... Ooh, now Schlappy's stuck until he uh, faints. I do kind of hope I run into bumps, because with gym leaders... Well, I kind of like it to be a good battle. I mean, Whitney was a great gym leader. I barely squeaked by and got the plane match. Uh, Faulkner, I'm pretty sure I had some trouble with as well. So far, I'm doing well, but, well, I think he's going to throw out his Gengar now. Which, yeah, Gengar, the final of all form. Now, what this thing likes to do is use hypnosis and put you to sleep and then just wail on you with Dream Eater and other horrible moves. But the thing about hypnosis is an extremely inaccurate move. I'm going to try to lower its accuracy so it will never hit me with that. And do some decent damage as well, considering it's also weak to my ground type move. So, Mud Slap. Mean luck. Total waste of a move, because your predecessor already used that. Mud Slap. To make sure that you do not use Hypnosis on me. Alright, its accuracy fell. Yeah, see there, it's trying to do that, but I lowered its accuracy. I'm going to try to maybe just kill it with Mud Slap. That would be ideal. I mean, it might get lucky and hit me with, uh, hit me with hypnosis, but it's not very likely, considering its accuracy has already been lowered three stages. Oh yeah, this thing is going down. It's not going to touch me. Ahaha! Your entire strategy is all for naught. And Gengar has been taken down. Oh well, I guess an easy badge every now and again is not a bad thing. Once you get a more diverse team, they do get become more common. Alright, and Haunter, his final Pokemon, not really going to be a threat. The Gengar is the heavy hitter. This is just to throw you out and finish you off after Gengar has pretty much swept your team. And once you finally take it out, boom, he throws out the Haunter and wins. I'm going to give Knight a chance here because Schlappy's seen too much action. He's already five levels above everybody else. His Haunter is really nothing special. His, ha uh, his Gengar is... Well, he does kind of break the rules by having his Gengar be... Ooh, curse. That's not a smart move on your part. It's just going to make it easier to kill you. I mean, I've still got five perfectly good Pokemon, and this is your last one, and you're going to bring it down to half health just to, to spite Knight, right? Oh well, time for Bite. Oh, why do I always rhyme? I rhyme all the time. Ooh, Nightshade. That does... That does, um... Damage equal to either its level or my level. I forget which. Anyway, it's doing 21 damage to me. So if it hits me with that again, ooh. Okay, let's see if uh, Knight can pull this off. Or if Haunter can finish itself off. Ooh, Nightshade. Nope, Knight is going down. Oh, well, that is unfortunate. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go with Hercule. Yeah, he's kind of unorthodox. Why not? <laughs> let's use Bubble. <laughs> Just to be a dick. Just let's use our weakest move. Heh. <laughs> oh, finish yourself off. That would be so funny. Aw, oh, dang it. 21 damage. 
Alright. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Bubble. And bubbles right in your face, Haunter. And that's Morty. His Gengar is difficult, but, well, if you use my Mud Slap strategy, it shouldn't be too, too bad. Although it can get a lucky hypnosis and sweep you, so... Um, I just got lucky this time. Alright, and that's Morty. Hercule gained some nice experience. And Morty was defeated. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. Thrash got 2,300... Wait... 2300 Poké Dollars for winning. There we go. Thresh received the Fog Badge. Alright. For some reason I always remember what, what the badge is called. Well, like, first it was the Zephyr Badge, then the Hive Badge, then the Plain Badge, then the Fog Badge. I don't know. Like, Gen 1 Boulder Badge, Cascade Badge, um, uh, I think it's the Lightning Badge? Or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not a hundred percent, but I know like I think Erica gives you the rainbow badge, or was that? Now, I get it mixed up, but Gen 2, I'm I'm better at it. I don't know why. Anyways, by having the fog badge, Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you, which is a real step up because I mean, unless you're doing some seriously stupid grinding, you're not gonna have level 50 Pokemon at this point. I mean, you can take on the freaking Pokemon League with 50 po level 50 Pokemon, and we're only up to the third gym, so they really don't want you to have your Pokemon too powerful for you, because that did, was pretty annoying in the first game. Also, Pokemon that know Surf will be able to use that move anytime. Also, we're getting Surf earlier in this game, which is really nice, considering I've got two water types, and Surf is a very powerful water type attack. I want you to have this, too. Thrash received TM30. This is Dream Eater, if I'm not mistaken. Put TM30 in his pocket. Oh no, it's Shadow Ball. Hmm. It's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and re may reduce special defense. If I'm not mistaken, Shadow Ball is actually technically a physical move in this game, which is stupid, but, well, all dark type moves in this game are physical moves. So, Shadow Ball is a physical move, so it lowering special defense is kind of a pointless. I mean, it's great in later games, like in Gen 4, with the physical special split. Um, it'll lower your special defense, and it'll do more damage because your special defense is lowered. But it's a nice type, it's a nice ghost type move, if I'm not mistaken. I might use it, probably not though. Use it if it appeals to you. Uh, well, let's see if it appeals to any of my Pokemon. Let's see, uh, Shadow Ball. And it can be learned by nobody. Nobody cares about it. Alright, well, normally you leave this gym by just stepping in one of the wrong spaces and uh, exiting. But I'm going to go against the grain. I'm actually going to do the... Damn it. No, I have to do this. I have to do this right. Yeah, I'm going to solve the whole freaking puzzle just so I can solve the whole freaking puzzle backwards. Yep. I am going to do this backwards because that's how I do things. There we go. I exited it the right way. Even though I did not have to, even though I messed up the first time, I exited the right way. Well, uh, that's the fog badge in our pocket. Let's take a look at it. Ah, there it is. It does look like a ghost. It's neat. <laughs> Faulkner's looks like a, a pair of wings. Bugsy's looks like a ladybug. Um... What's her name? Whitney, that bitch. That stupid cow in her mill tank. Hers is just, well, plain, but then again, it is a plain badge, so I guess she can get away with that. And, <laughs> appropriately, the fog badge looks like a ghost. And, well, we're halfway through the gym leaders, so we're about halfway through the game. Yeah? It, we're already halfway through. It's crazy. Well, I suppose there are some Pokemon League shenanigans, so we will have to go through that. But that's four gym leaders down, four to go. So I'm just gonna heal up, and in the next episode we will move on to the next, the next town. So after this, I will d explain, well, not explain, but recite my famous outro, and we can exit. So 
this is me, Thrash02, saying be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.